Assalamu alaikum uh, viewers. Um, we are still having technical difficulties, but I uh, hope we are trying our best to get the photos to you. Emdad, um, let us talk about tours. Sure. Now, um, tell us any tours you have been to um, anywhere within the country or abroad, which you actually enjoyed, which is related to sports. Well, a very memorable one, Al Bambay. In 2016 itself, when Stepney Football Club, we travelled to Morocco, uh, we took a a, should we say a motley crew of 18 absolute scoundrels <laughs> uh, over to Morocco uh, to play a local football team. Now we travelled to Fez and from Fez we stayed a, a night and a day in Fez and we checked out the Medina over there. Tariq Hussein, Stepney Legend was there and as you know he's a, a renowned travel broadcaster and writer so he was able to fill in the gaps and take us to where we needed to do. The next day we travelled to a Moroccan town called Larash which is where one of our teammates, Rashid Shubu, is from. And we played the local team, Laraj FC. So we, uh, we, we played them in a 90-minute in a friendly game. It finished 2-2, and we sent a match report out from there, uh, straight back to England. The hotel connection was very bad at internet, but we got it done. It was brilliant. Um, and I want to say thank you to Saeed Watani. They actually prepared, uh, they, they had a full stadium there, and they prepared an immaculate surface for us as well. And there was a lot of hospitality once we were there as well. Rashid and his family, they fed us, clothed us, they took us for tours. And we had a great game, 2-2. Uh, and uh, I did say scandals, but our team were total ambassadors whilst they were out there. And, and I think, you know, we, we did a lot of things. We visited an, an orphanage whilst we were out there as well. So we packed in quite a lot. A very memorable experience. And did also you, football is quite popular in Morocco as well. Absolutely. Moroccans are absolutely football crazy. Like I said, the amateur stadium over there was, um, was fantastic. It's actually <laughs> far more advanced than the stuff we've got um, in, in the UK for, for that level. It's, it's very hot there, isn't it? Very hot there mm. as well. The people we found there, even though the weather's hot, we people we found there to be very mild mannered as well. Did your legend uh, here, uh, did he go? He didn't make the you? cut, unfortunately. No, no. Would you believe it? <laughs> I was, he I was wasn't deemed good injured. enough. I, I took his place. Good enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that took my place. I was actually injured. So. Shahel, um, any tours you made abroad? It doesn't have to be a uh, sporting one. No, to be fair, the only time I did touring was when I was in secondary school. Uh, obviously, with uh, school, I went to a couple of places. Uh, Brighton, I remember once, and South End as well, a couple of times we went. Uh, beyond that, I do love the game. Uh, I do enjoy it and I've, I've gone to quite a few stadiums to watch different types of games. Uh, Barcelona was probably a highlight. Uh, that was a lovely game against Getafe, I think, at the time, which was uh, something like 6-0. Six nil, six six, nil. Six nil. So trick. it was a fantastic, <laughs> you know, it was a once in a lifetime thing. So that was, you know, I love the football. Uh, I think I'm the least active out of my, for, you know, us four directors. So, in that regard, no, no tourism. <laughs> but I, I have seen uh, a photo of you in a team, uh, in, in, in your company sponsorship. Okay, shirt. okay. Probably uh, more for, <laughs> more for we, aesthetic reasons yeah, than well anything recently else. Yeah, recently Hunter and Bloomfield have actually launched their own football team as well. So, um, um, they have got a very nice set of kits as well. Mm. Which yeah, we we're used entering to a team in the Luton thing that's coming up recently as well. So. I think it's just nice just to have a bit of visibility and you know give people a opportunity just to you is, know just get is together. Is it for a laugh? More for a laugh, yeah, more than okay. anything else. Because I think you know there's some there's friendly competition is always you know always nice. I politely I disagree with him. <laughs> <laughs> for it, um, <laughs> how many tours have you been to uh, back home? Three times. Three times. And how many as a veteran? Twice. Twice. Okay, let's talk about the uh, first first one. The first one was in 1995, I think it was, and that was our first international trip with Stepney FC again. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was amazing. I mean, I, I haven't been, it was the first time I went back to Bangladesh, I think I was after about 12 years or so. Uh, so just meeting family, friends, um, going and playing football all around the country. It was just an eye opener. And, and um, I totally have all the memories embedded in my, you know, in my mind at the moment. Um, and you also got so much joy out of it. And I think as a, as a group of players, we grew up in an area, we played together. And it was the first time we actually left and went abroad. You know, the playing journeys and, and then when you go out there and, and, the, and then the joy that it brings. I, I think it was, it was a fantastic tour. And, and I've been back since twice with with, with, with Shunad uh, The last time it was another thing in terms of football-wise. I don't think we can say it was a great success. We know we got hammered quite a few times. <laughs> the tournament. You the tournament about. itself. 
But I think uh, in 2007, there's a picture behind me, and I was looking at it, and it just brought back a lot of memories. Uh, 2007, we went, and we, we played, I think, seven games. Mm -hmm. And we eight won games. eight games, and we won every single game. And we wow. did such a wow. fantastic <laughs> uh, team and a tour. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we went out with all the games with really confident, and uh, we just, you know, battered with the teams. And, and, uh, and I believe the gentleman sitting next to you was the manager. He was, he was the manager, and I was the captain, uh, too, so I got some credit. <laughs> no, he, was, he takes he, some, he, yeah. did, he did a great job, actually, getting a really good, strong squad together. Mm. And we did, uh, the preparation was fantastic. We went around the country here first, traveling and playing lots of friendlies. And then when we got to Bangladesh, we just hit the ground running. And uh, we just played against some of the top, top teams in Bangladesh, in some of the best stadiums we can find in the country. Mm. Jamal, talk us through the tour that when you won all the games. Uh, which year was it? Oh, um, 2007, I think. I think, no, I think 2007 or 9, seven. something like that. I've, I've really um, trying to remember, I'd be confused, I think. Before you it mean to say you forgot the tour, you won all the games? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I remember, uh, no, 2007, 2007 uh, uh, so many. I didn't go to 2007. Because we've been to so many. Yeah. I haven't missed a single tour, Shunali it went, and we went mm. to so many tour. Mm. Even though with Sporting Bengal and the other teams, I, with my te own team, Shapla, uh, the tour you was talking about, sorry, 2007. Yeah, we won all the game. The first game, I think one of the game we played in Abahani Mart, which is Dhaka, Abahani Stadium. All the colored players from Bangladesh national team. I think 99% of the players are national players. Mm. And we beat them 1-0. Uh, it was really hard for them to take the loss. <laughs> uh, there was a lot of people there, a lot of uh, VIP guests. Uh, player like Kaisar Bhai, Kaisar Amit, uh, friend of mine, and Aslam Bhai, uh, and um, Jilani and others. Yeah, Jilani, and there's uh, many other players, Kushida Lomba uh, There's so many big names of Bangladesh football, you know, played mm -hmm. against us, mm -hmm. and Rupuda as well. So, you know, we beat them 1-0, we were lucky enough, and we had a good squad that time, and we won, like uh, Forrest said, we won all the games. We played uh, Rashai, we played Chapai Nawabgonj, uh, Kunla, also Chittagang, Coxpaja, and Silet, is, I think, uh, as well, isn't oh, it? We didn't play, so play Silet that time. So we won all the games, and uh, Rashai is very memorable, I have to say. There was a Bangladesh Sidor, uh, Sidor happening that time, the flood victims. And uh, I think they raised, uh, the, the stadium was full of people, I think about eight, ten thousand 10,000 people. And they sold tickets for that game, our game against Rashai uh, veterans. And we won that game as well. And there was uh, about 10,000 people on the stadium gallery. Uh, it was unbelievable atmosphere and the support mm -hmm. and uh, for the good cause at that time. I, I, but I, believe, I believe you also went to um, uh, uh, Kolkata in India. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's Shunal Yotif. Shunal Yotif. We went to Bangladesh and Kolkata, mm. uh, you know, both uh, destinations that time. Uh, yeah, we played in a, I think, four nation tournament. Dhaka, Shunal Yotif, us from London and uh, two from India. Uh, we participated in that tournament. The, all the players are ex-national players. Um, also, we played in that particular year, that was I think 2002, mm. we played in Bangladesh as well and mm. then we went to India. I mean, again, going to tour, I've been to so many, I was lucky enough to go to so many tours. I think that was 2004, I think, uh, 2004 or five. I think so, probably. I mean, I was lucky enough, like I said, eight, I think 1985 or 84 probably. I mean, our, my team, which is uh, Shapla Youth Force, it's now called uh, Shedwell FC. I mean, we went to France, invited by one of the tournament's um, participants. He took whole our team over there, I think about 25 of us. And from the first round, we won the tournament. And, uh, you know, this is how my, my tour <coughs> started. And then, uh, luckily, we went to 1990. Shapla went to a tour in Bangladesh. Um, I was captain at that time. Uh, and we played... Uh, a lot of big teams, you know, a lot of well-known faces. We played uh, BKSP at that time it was a good, uh, very good team, and also Bangladesh Shanabaini, the Bimanbaini Air Force, uh, Bidia. And we played uh, one game in Silet in my village, mm. Siramishi. 
we won uh, the game Siramishi and the BDR game, but unfortunately we lost uh, the army game and the B uh, BKSP and the Shanawaini. Thank you, Jamal. Uh, we are actually moving towards the end of the program. We have only a couple of minutes left. Uh, last few seconds, Emdad, um, uh, about sponsorship. All I'm going to say, if you're watching the program, please considering, consider sponsoring grassroots elements of the game, whether it's a local team or Sunali Otit. We've seen ourselves this year. The Sunali Otit Ubazila Cup started last year. It was massive then. We've seen how much it improved this year. Huge. Almost, almost, and this is just a guesstimate, almost 60,000 pounds was spent by teams. Uh, during this this very very successful tournament as well, mm -hmm. and you know that probably eighty to ninety percent of that came from the sponsors themselves. All I'm going to say to the sponsors is, is like Shahel pointed out, that you may not see immediate dividends, but remember your presence is number one appreciated by people old and young if you're sponsoring a young youth team remember you're making the di a difference a significant difference in the lives of vulnerable youngsters in most cases and because of your support they may have a fighting chance to develop themselves and go on to do great things in the future if you're sponsoring something like shunali atit which is on the other side of the scale as well you are yeah. prolonging the careers of people who would otherwise be if you now everybody here would know if you have been a footballer and if you've been physically active all your life to switch off one day I'll would stop, lead yeah. to something like depression straight away and because of this because of your sponsorship and support you are making a huge difference thank you Amdad. um i we, we have actually come to the end of our time can i thank all my guests jamal farid uh, shahel and Amdad. thank you for joining me um and all the uh, uh, contribution that you have made today uh, viewers uh next week it's a promise I will try and get those two photos. The first thing on the show, if I'm presenting, uh, God willing. Uh, thank you for um, your patience and thank you for being with us. Uh, see you next week again. Assalamu alaikum.